Welcome to Fertile Minds. I'm Dr. Raywin Tierney, a CREI fertility specialist with IVF Australia. Uh, what causes endometriosis? Well, we're not exactly clear on what causes endometriosis. We know that about one in 10 women have endometriosis. There are a few theories around as to the nature of the cause of endometriosis. And the top three theories, are, the first one is Sampson's theory, and this is retrograde menstruation. And the theory goes that when we bleed, uh, blood cells, our, the uterine cells and endometrial cells can retrograde, flow backwards from the uterus through your fallopian tubes into your pelvis and those endometrial cells can then implant into the uterus and this is one theory. There is another theory called salomic metaplasia and here it is where uh, cells that are on your tissues in the pelvis undergo some form of change where they change from one cell into an endometrial cell and then start growing and implanting under the influence of the female hormone estrogen. Uh, a third theory is an immune theory and it is based on your altered immunity that somehow doesn't pick up that there are these cells there because our immune system usually knows if there's something wrong, it can then take it out of the system. However, when there's altered immunity, it allows for these endometrial cells uh, to implant further and extend further, causing quite severe endometriosis. So these are three possible theories, but really are not clear. How does endometriosis affect fertility? Uh, there are a variety of ways. When you have endometriosis, what can happen is it can distort uh, the tissues within your pelvis. So it can block fallopian tubes and therefore prevent egg and sperm from meeting. It can distort the anatomy where the fallopian tube cannot even pick up the ovulated egg. It can also distort the ovary uh, and form cysts within the ovary, uh, preventing ovulation or the ovulated egg from coming out as well. Uh, this is, tends to be the more severe endometriosis. In cases where there is only mild endometriosis, where there are just a few spots and there is no distortion of anatomy, you think, well then how does that cause infertility then? And some of the theories are based on special mediators that are released by the endometriosis uh, that can have some factor detrimental factor on egg and sperm interaction and possibly even affect implantation. Again, these are all uh, theories with uh, the uh, stage one, stage two endometriosis, but certainly we know it does affect a person's fertility and you need to speak to your doctor further about that if you suspect you might have endometriosis. I often ask, does the diagnosis of endometriosis automatically mean that, you know, I'll be infertile, or in fact, that's not the case at all. And uh, many women with endometriosis do go on to conceive naturally. However, if you have endometriosis and you're under the age of 35 and you've been trying for longer than 12 months, then certainly you do need to see your fertility specialist and seek help. Uh, even more so if you're over the age of 35 and you have endometriosis and you're trying to get pregnant and you haven't been successful uh, for the past six months or longer, then yes, you too must uh, seek specialist uh, fertility help and advice around that. So when it comes to infertility or when it comes to endometriosis, there are some treatment options and none of this means that you'll be infertile. Uh, some treatment options would include just surgery and many women only require uh, laparoscopic surgery to remove endometriosis and then they many go on and conceive within the next six months after that. However, some women may need fertility treatment to help them conceive and IVF is certainly a great fertility treatment for women with endometriosis and so Will you always be infertile? The answer is no, because there are certainly very good treatments out there to help uh, women with endometriosis conceive.
If you suspect that you might have endometriosis, then my advice to you would be to seek help earlier. Don't wait. Uh, I would go and either visit your family doctor or a specialist gynaecologist, sit down with them, let them take your history, possibly examine you, and organize for further testing, such as a pelvic scan and blood tests. And the reason why you want to seek help is because if you do have endometriosis, it, treatment can occur much earlier and uh, that can be started pretty quickly. And especially if you're someone who may be having pain, then pain management can occur and start earlier for you. If you're someone who is trying to get pregnant and you think you might have endometriosis, then even this is an even better reason why you should be seeking help earlier and seeing your doctor or fertility specialist. I hope you found this video helpful and always remember that fertility specialists like myself are here to help provide support and guidance for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.